With HVAC prices continuing to climb and climb year after year and equipment itself continuing to climb, especially with the EPA regulations, many people don't realize that they can save a lot of money. They're leaving a lot of money on the table when it comes to the most expensive appliance in their home, and that is their HVAC system. Now to give you some ballpark numbers here, an average brand new HVAC system is gonna cost between 10,000 on the very lowest end to about $20,000. It's gonna be somewhere in that range, 10,000 being kind of the minimum here in the United States. Now a lot of people simply don't have 10,000 extra dollars to throw into their home. And a lot of people actually go into debt because of their HVAC system but that doesn't have to be the case. Now, the most common and definitely the easiest method is to simply call a few contractors, look them up on Google, get bids on replacing your HVAC system, and you're gonna pay a premium because they do everything and they want that. In fact, when you get a bid, you'll probably notice that there's not line items for what, how much the equipment costs. It's all lumped together. And the reason for that is the contractor wants to mark up all of that equipment and maybe count it as part of his labor. So this is the whole price, this is what you pay. You can pay 20 bucks a month or something like that. That's how they sell this all the time. Now here's the secret. Many people don't realize that you can purchase the same equipment or very similar with a 10 year warranty online, have it shipped directly to your door, and then you have a couple of options. You can either find a contractor that's willing to install said equipment, or you can actually do it yourself and save even more money. So let's go into these options with a bit more detail. So I have a lot of haters out there, most of which are HVAC contractors who come on the channel and comment saying, one, you're gonna have to buy way too many tools to do this job yourself, and two, you're not gonna be able to get a full warranty on your system. Both of those things are completely false, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. But for a second, let's just think hypothetically if I needed to buy a new HVAC system and I didn't know where to start. So I'm gonna go to alpinehomeair.com and right here at the start, you'll see all of these different types of systems you can purchase. Now I need a heating and cooling system, so I'm gonna click here and right off on the left-hand side, you see a sizing calculator. This tool makes it so easy to determine what HVAC system you need to order and have sent to your door. Now, before we talk about that, I just wanna preface that by saying, make sure that you can either find an HVAC contractor that's willing to do this in your area, just the labor end, just tell them, I have the equipment, I'm not expecting you to warranty any of this, I just want you to professionally install it, and that's it. You can get a price for the labor, or like I said, if you wanna do that yourself, just make sure you have the mechanical knowledge to do that. So once you've found someone to be able to do the work or you've determined that you're gonna do it yourself, you can simply go to this sizing calculator and it'll ask you a handful of questions about what type of system you're needing, how it's oriented, how far is it from your building, is it a split system, is it a package unit? They'll ask you a series of questions and not only will they tell you the size, but they'll also put the equipment right there in front of you as far as the sear rating, the efficiency level, and it's right there. They make it so, so easy. Now, if you're still a little bit hesitant about doing this process without a professional's opinion, we do offer remote support at patreon.com slash DIY HVAC guy. Now this membership is $400. It can be used for a single month or however many months you want to use that to do your installation process. But we will kind of walk you through this, verify that the equipment they're telling you to get is correct. And if you have any problems with the installation, um, we will help you with that. The biggest thing that a lot of people are unaware of is that we can help facilitate getting your full 10 year warranty on your system. So we don't need the HVAC contractor to register it. If you wanna have somebody install it, that's all you need. You can contact us. And once you're a part of our Patreon membership, we can then register it. All we need is your first name, last name, phone number, address, and the serial numbers on all of the equipment, and we can register that for you so you have the peace of mind knowing it's covered for 10 years. Now, I also wanna address the question about tools. People are saying you're gonna to have to buy so many tools that it's going to offset the amount that you're saving by so much, and that's truly false. So I have a shopping list that I can forward to anyone that's on our remote support. In fact, I can just leave that in the video description below, and that gives you a shopping list for the beginner, DIYer that wants to replace his system and it has everything you'll need in that shopping cart 
already pre-selected. I've added all of this up here and it's about $1,200 worth of tools. Now, again, going back to our hypothetical, I need to replace my HVAC system. We just selected a system on Alpine Home Air. The total cost was $4,700, including tax, shipping, and that includes a lift gate and bringing it into the location that I want, like in my garage, to make it as easy as possible for myself or the person I'm having install it. So 4,700 plus 1,200 gives us right under $6,000 total if we were to do this project ourselves. Now, mind you, that was a mid-tier HVAC system. So that was a 16 SEER. So it's a little bit higher on the equipment front. So in general, if you were to have a contractor do that whole system himself, it's gonna be closer to the $15,000 range. So just keep that in mind. You can also get a cheaper, more standard efficient system and that price will lower significantly. So that's a savings of about $5,000. Now, if we went the other route and had a contractor install that, we purchased the equipment and just had them install it, that's 4,700 plus say 4,000 for them to install it, which by the way, most contractors would be more than willing to do that as they can finish this install in a day and make four grand. So that's also about five to $6,000 that you can keep in your pocket by going this route. And this isn't just wishful thinking, guys. I've helped dozens of people do this with our remote support. I've registered dozens of systems and many people are very happy that they did this and they saved a ton of money. Now, while we're talking about it, I just wanna mention the R32 refrigerant. A lot of people are concerned about that. What are the repercussions of me DIYing a R32 system? I've heard it's flammable. The truth is it's very slightly flammable. In fact, you have to hold a flame to it in order to keep it lit. So it's not like propane, it's gonna light in an instant. It is very lightly flammable. In fact, R410A is flammable also. It's just very much lower. And even R32 and 454B are very slightly flammable. Now, the only difference when it comes to the installation process is there's a sensor inside the indoor coil that you have to plug into a little board. I haven't done a video on an R32 system, but I will absolutely be doing one in the very near future to show you what the differences are there. But they're pretty minimal, and I feel like any DIYer with some mechanical knowledge can totally tackle an R32 system just the same as they did with a 410A system. So obviously you're gonna save the most amount of money by DIYing this, even if you have to buy all of those tools, you can also return some of those tools if you're just planning to use them once. It's not uh, the end of the world if you do that, but you're absolutely gonna save the most money going that route. You can, again, still save money either route that you go. In addition, you're getting more experience about HVAC systems. If you're tackling this yourself, that is knowledge that is so valuable in the future. If you have to repair the system, if you have to help someone else out, this knowledge saves so much money and it's just such a valuable skill set to have in the years to come. Now, if you wanna see how easy some of this equipment from Alpine Home Air is to install, you can check out these two videos where we walk you through the whole process step-by-step step and show you just how easy this can be. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.